might as well just go watch it. Watch, stop whatever you're doing right now. If you're watching this first and you haven't watched the Risk script video, just go watch it. <laughs> it, it will make sense. A lot of it will make sense. Like I said, I just recorded it, so I keep referencing it because there's a lot of crossing over. And if you start here, you're in the middle of the crossing over. And so I don't think you'll get it unless you already got it. Rahubat, wo warhu mudras at. Something just happened. <laughs> Today we're going to be, well for me, I'm redoing it. But we're going to be going over the Nuapoye Harufat pronunciation. Now, I did unhide that video. I haven't gone back to watch it. I will. I'm not ashamed. No shame. It was just on the fly and really disorganized. So, in the structure that I've been doing things with these last couple of videos, flashcards, marker, let's get to it. <laughs> and, fun fact, if you watch the Nubic and Sabat Sabaic language videos already, then you're gonna see some similarities. You're gonna see a lot of crossing over when it comes to the Nuapoye. Okay? Our first letter is A. Ah. And even here you can see the introduction of this base structure that both the Sabaic and Nuapoye share. So, in, this is Nuapoye. We have their ah, and it's just a regular A sound. Well, not in English, we <laughs> Ah, not a, ah, not a, ah. Our next one is our accent letter. And if you went back, or if you saw the Did I say Nubic? I didn't mean to say Nubic. It's just because that script is Arabic, but it's like a whole thing. But if you went back and watched the Nuwabian risk script, Nuwabic risk script, then you'll see what I was talking about when I show you this. Do you remember this? This is the accent letter. And once again, I'm just gonna say like in Sabaic, it can be used on any vowel, but where you mostly see it is a, a, and u. That is where you will typically see this letter conjoined with, if not by itself. But this is our accent letter. And there's different ways of writing it. Our next letter, and you will also recognize this, be. It's really small. Be. <laughs> be. And this is our B sound. Our next one, it's no longer an optional letter. <laughs> And they say it is K. K. Once again, boxy structure, but it has a line coming off the top of it. If you went and you studied the Sabaic, what does it look like? This was another letter, but in the Wapoye, this is K, the C sound. Hmm. Our next letter. <laughs> Similar to Sabaic. Che. And this is CH. My bad. I was scratching my dress. Our next letter. And this is the first time you see it like this in comparison to the last video when it had like a dome and 
the straight base in the center was a dot. Now it's become the triangular structure with a cent uh, the dot in the center. But this is de. De. And this is our regular base D sound, okay? Now, this is our combination letter. This is DZ. And that would be our angular hourglass DZ Z. Z. It's a combination sound. So, D, Z, D, Z, Z. Slow it down, practice it, get familiar with it, and you have it. Z. Our next combination sound is DJ. J. DJ. D, J, D, J, J, J. This is our DJ sound. Or sound out of whatever. Our next letter good old faithful A. <laughs> <laughs> Never change. <laughs> eh. This is our E sound. So not well soft E in English we yeah. like an egg, but more pronounced. It's not just eh. It's eh. Eh. So kind of like what a proper or an A saying its name would be. Eh. Eh. And that is our E sound. Next is I threw that off the center. Fe. Fe. This is our F sound. Fe. Our next letter, how to, f how to, f and you'll recognize this from Nuabic script with the risk script. Ge, ge, and this is just a regular G. We do have a GH, so ge, and next we have. Re. Re. Now you can see sticky notes. I'm not gonna say if you ask me. You can see the similarities. Know that the singular line coming out from the circle is a regular G. It looks kind of like a capital G if you just extended the straight line. Ge, and this is re. Re. If you want to really break it down, you could say like this is half of a capital H, and that's how you can kind of remember that. This is re. Our combination GH sound, and that's like gargling. I said that for a reason. Gargling. Re. Our next. Oh, I almost got lost. <laughs> is our regular hard H sound, and there is a soft H sound. He. And this is our hard H. So if you remember what I said about differentiating the hard versus the soft letters, this is just a regular H. Huh, huh, huh. And that looks like this. Our soft H. If 
if you are familiar with the photo visage picture of Anu Ilun Ilun El, if you look on his crown, you will recognize this. Or if you just saw who written <laughs> in Nua Poye. But our soft H. Does it go all the way? Okay, it is a circle. Can you see? Okay, let me rewrite that. And this is our soft H. Like I said, softening the letter involves contact with your tongue. So, who? We had who. I need to practice. <laughs> we have who, and we have who. Who. And like I said, you're creating like a hollow in the front with your tongue and your teeth, but on the sides, that's where that contact is going to come in. Who? 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 It's not supposed to sound guttural. Who? Hard H. Who? Soft H. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. Next is E. I said that in another iteration of the language that this letter is not what it used to be and it also changed from sabbatic. At some point, this was a ch. I swear to God, this was a ch. And I equivalented that with how I explained it Maybe that's what I was talking about. But here, I said the H, this letter, changed its sound. Because the E, or I sound, or the I letter, wasn't the same. And this is what I was talking about. This is E. <laughs> I hope that doesn't confuse y'all. I just want to let y'all know. Because as I was learning, I was putting these things together. And you'll see but I just want to talk about it. <laughs> but this is E. Not to be confused with the Nuwabic risk script. This is E in Nuwapoye. E. E. This is our I sound, okay? So, E. And it will always be pronounced like that, okay? It will never be I. It's not going to be I. It's always going to be E, okay? I will sing it on the hill until the cows come home. Our next letter. <laughs> and this just confirmed that it didn't change. Always been the same. J. J. And this is our J sound, so... Hard G in English, we get G. This is the J sound, J, J. Next, these are my favorite twins. One goes one way, the other goes the other way. Just be mindful of that. The other one also has a dot on the top. We'll get there. For now, I will accept how that looks. <laughs> Just a regular k. 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 Simple hard k sound, okay? K. And what I was just rambling on about is k. Which kind of reminds me of Arabic. You, if you know, you know the letters that I'm talking about. But this one goes the other way. <laughs> che. Che. And you know it's che if you don't know it from whichever goes left or right. <laughs> Righty tighty lefty loosey. 
you just know that it's ge because it has the dot on the top. Ge. All right. So we have So we have ke and we have ge. Ke, ge, ke, ge. Okay, you get it. <laughs> Our next one, hmm. Don't be confused with Sabaic, but this does come up again. <laughs> I can hear it. Can you hear it? It's kind of therapeutic. Le. This is our L sound. Le. Le. And I know it looks like another letter that makes a different sound, but this is le in nuapoye. Le. And this is our L sound. This is the introduction of the M. Of how it looks in every other iteration. Meh. Meh. And this is our M sound. Meh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our next. This looks very similar to the Nawabic risk script. But it just has like a slight variation. You still have that curve, but it's just gonna, it's not all right. I would show you, but I can't write it. Okay, so we ha still have that curve, but the straight line doesn't go up as high. So probably halfway of that curve, you have ne. And this is our N sound. Ne. Ne. If you still want to write it all the way up like that, then that is your choice, my friend, okay? But here, you write like this, okay? Okay. Next, we have O. And it did not change from the Nuwabic risk script. You have O. O. And it, it will always be pronounced like that. Like so. <laughs> o. <laughs> Alright, that's it. But also, what I was talking about, you might as well just go watch it. Watch, Stop whatever you're doing right now. If you're watching this first and you haven't watched the risk script, video just go watch it <laughs> it, will, it will make sense a lot of it will make sense like I said I just recorded it so I keep referencing it because there's a lot of crossing over and if you start here you're in the middle of the crossing over and so I don't think you'll get it unless you already got it more power to you but this is our nuapoye pe sound or pe letter Pe. And this is just a regular P. No PH, no PT. Regular P. Okay? And what I was talking about is in Sabatia, it has a full circle and the two lines. That is a variation of how it was being written out. But before that, they just had this. And it was written like this for the Nawabian risk script as well as Nuwapoye. It only changed when it, the Sabaic was introduced. And even then, like I was saying, even then, it was still used part of the time, but that new letter or the new way of writing it was a full circle with the lines in the middle. And you can see that in the in the pata sign with the ah, the oo, and the p. 
pay. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now this, you will remember from Sabaic. And there's no pH. <laughs> yeah, there's no pH. So this is just pata. This is PT. This is ta. Okay? Te. This is ta's te. That's what I'm going to call it. Ta's te. Something that I went, I went to go look up a lot of things and do some more studying after doing that Sabe video. In the chants, they even write out pata differently. Even though when they put the translation underneath it, they still say pata. And even when they're talking about him, they say pata. But in the chants, the way they wrote the transliteration, because the transliteration is a reflection of the script itself, they say P-A-T-A-H. And that disappointed me. It's okay. But this is P-T. P-T. Or T. Alright? So, we have P and this is P-T. Since we're here, that other letter that was in Sabaic, the one that looks like a circle on two chopsticks, <laughs> that was a P sound that, and this is what it says, it's used in the middle of a word that has a P sound. The, the two lined circle symbol, the one that is this one yeah they're sticking together because it's sticky notes this one is only used at the ends of words so wap, you would use this one if you're saying nuapoye or nuapik or anything that you're putting after the p then you would use that other letter but if you're writing pata or you're writing any other word <laughs> that starts with a P sound, you would use this one. But when you're writing a word that has a P sound in the middle, you would use that other letter. That's what I learned. And I was like, oh, okay. And then like I said, I went and I asked, hey, what are the other words <laughs> that have this letter in it? Didn't get no response. It's okay. It's all right. Now, this one you'll be familiar with. P, our Q sound. P, and it is a guttural constriction. It's more sharp, I would say. It's not a gargling. It's not gargling, and you're not ha clearing your throat. It's ha. Somebody says something like cough, even though that's an Arabic letter. Coughing, but like if your if your nasal passage wasn't clear, cough, cough. I'm coughing. I don't know. In the Nuwabik risk script video, there was a variation of the R that is no longer in use, but like I was saying in other ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, it's a reed and you draw it a certain way, right? This is similar to that, it's just angular. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just say it's a four without the little tail in the back, okay? <laughs> but this is re, and this is our R sound. Trill that R, roll it, roll it till the cows come home, re. And you always roll it. Re. Re. And this is se. Se. 
I'm trying not to let the, the bleed show on the camera. But, say, they kind of, instead of writing it like a Harry Potter lightning bolt, they made it more linear on the XY plane. <laughs> so, you have one diagonal line and, and two vertical ones. But this is se. And this is a regular hard S. No contact, no softening. Regular hard S. Se. Okay? This next letter is our soft S. And it looks very unique. I love to write it. This is se. Se. And the tip of my tongue is coming ever so slightly in contact with the back of my teeth. Se. Se. Not she. So we have se proper and we have se. Se. And this is our soft S. Our she, our sh sound, it's kind of, you need to practice writing it. I practice writing it. <laughs> so this is she. 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 It's like a little lightning symbol with a curve at the end. But this is she, and this is our sh. Hot off. Now, this letter appears in Sebaic, but it is not what you think it is, okay? So what is this in Sabaic, right? Right? Guess what it is in Noah Poi. <laughs> I'm not gonna have you guess. It's S-C-H, that beginning of school, sk. This is ske. <laughs> ske. Ske. C, or S-C-H. This is S C H Ske. And I'm gonna leave it there. But that is the end of the S's. So we got four different S sounds. We have se, se, she, and ske. Our T sounds. This is okay. I used to say I needed to, when I was learning no apoye, I would get them mixed up. But it didn't take long, but it just looked like this would be a soft letter, but it's not. This is hard te. And this line is not usually this long. I was talking. This is hard te. 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 It has the little squiggle that B has or B has. This is te, hard T. I'm gonna start pulling them off two at a time. The soft T, you will be familiar with from the Nuwabic risk script. This is soft te, softening it by adding contact with my tongue at the back of my teeth. The back of my front teeth. Te. I'm just making sure I didn't mess it up. But. <laughs> te. Te. Soft T. Okay. Next we have. Se. T-H. I don't see it a lot. 
but maybe you will. And when you do, you will know what it is. Fe. T-H. Fe. Fe. Okay? Next. I wrote something. And I don't know why I wrote it. And this is back in reference to Anu Ilion Ilion's crown. Oh, Anu Ilion Ilion L, his crown, his Taj. Taj is Arabic. Don't correct me. Anyway, ooh. So in the who that's on his crown, this is ooh. This is the you in Nuapoye. So together. You have, I don't know how this is going to appear on camera. Okay, we can do this. We can do this because they connect, right? <laughs> so this is soft eight. This is soft H and ooh, who, who, not who, who, soft H and the ooh, okay? I'm just when I saw that I was like oh that makes sense so we have our V sound V V V and this is our V sound Next, oh, we have we. I might need to, no, okay. Pay attention to the bold lines. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> we, this is our W sound, we. We. Long line on the bottom, short line on the top. Intersecting vertical line. Okay? We. W sound. We. Our X Haraf. She. That's what I'm going to say. Okay? <laughs> she. However you pronounce it. In your language, in the Wapoye, I don't know how to pronounce it because I don't see it. If you can find a word, like I said, with that P sound that goes in the middle of a word, if you can find words that utilize it, drop them in the comments, okay? This is not me being facetious or anything like that. I have not come across this letter, so your guess is as good as mine. But this is the X haraf. I say sh, ch, t, k, s, however you pronounce it. Okay? X. Next haraf. Yeah. 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 I'm laughing because why is the why is the top so 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 big? <laughs> when we get into writing, you can write it however you want, okay? This is just how I happen to write it right now. But yeah. This is the Y sound. Yeah. Now This is what I was talking about in the Sabatia video in reference to DJ, I think. How it's a line and it's like a, a triangle in the middle of that line. 
these are the Z's. The next, or the last three, we're on the last letters, we're on the Z's. There are three of them, okay? One of them, like I said, I had to double take because I'm like, all right, I'm just making sure I'm not crazy, period. But you'll see what I'm talking about. Right now we have our regular Z. And you will be familiar with this. Z. Z. And this is just a regular Z sound. No embellishments, just regular hard Z. Okay? Z. This is Z D. So we have D Z and we have Z D. Dal Z. 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 That's probably why they took it out. <laughs> because how do you how do you differentiate a hard Z from a ZD? You can differentiate the DZ because that is a D sound and a Z sound. But when you already have the Z sound going, how do you combine it with the D sound? Z. I don't know. I can't help you. But. I just know it looks different because BAM <laughs> it looks like this this is the ZD sound okay Z okay Z maybe more emphasis you add more pressure on your teeth more pressure that makes sense it's not just a regular z it's a z hard z so maybe the first one is regular z this one is a hard z and then the last one is a soft z because that is zh but this is zd zd z i'm trying for y'all <laughs> All right, and then like I said, our last letter you also recognize from previous videos for being ZH, and that is Z, Z. And what I said I'm doing is I'm treating the H like a soft H, and I'm adding the Z sound, so I know what I'm doing, but Practice, 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 so you can know what I'm doing when I say Z and I say Z. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's a lisp, but Z. You're adding that H, that contact with your tongue and your teeth with the Z sound. So Z, 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 Z. This is ZH. Okay? Okay. Do you want to have a pop quiz? <laughs> Do you want to have a pop quiz? In particular, I want to drill something. But what is this? That is a bleed. Do not write your L like that. Well, I just gave it away. This is Le. It's just straight up, straight down. Straight up, no, not straight up, but like diagonal up, <laughs> that, uh, straight down. Diagonal up, straight down. This is Le. Le. It looks like a Re in Sabatia, but it's not. This is Le. Le. And this is why we do these videos. So y'all so y'all can know what is going on. <laughs> what is this one? 
and how did I say that you can kind of cheat not cheat but like have it in your mind to know what this is this is GH Re. gargling GH Re. and I said that you can kind of remember that because this looks like half an H within the within the gay but it's not a gay this is a re re g h re this this is our hard t okay t t this is t okay hard t What is Oh, that was my correction for the le. What is this? Oh, let me hold up both of them. Even though that's kind of cheating to me. What are these? Which one is which? How do you know? This is G or K H G and this is regular K regular K sound G going to the left Long story short, it has a dot on the top. That is G. And then the one without the dot on the top is K. G, K. Okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What is, we always gotta do this one. What is this? And it's written like this for a reason, but you could also write it the other way. This is our accent letter. So specifically for A, A, and O, this is our accent letter, okay? And there's two ways to write it. The other one is long gone, but <laughs> this is the way that you'll see it sometimes. Oh, I wanted to do this one specifically, but I didn't want it to be too easy. What is this? This is unique to Nuwapoye, but it is in other iterations of the language. But this is fe, th, fe, fe, th, okay? All right. I don't think, uh, I think that's it. Now, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. Because of all the different Z's that they <laughs> Because of all the different Z's and S's, this Nuapoye has the most letters out of all the languages in Nubic. Nuwabic, Nuwabic with the wrist script because there's a difference, we haven't gotten into it yet. And Sabaic, Nuapoye has the most letters in it, okay? Because of all them dang Z's and S's. <laughs> Why do we need sk? 
that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Practice. Slow it down. It don't have to be perfect, but practice makes perfect, okay? That is it. Wadu, wu ashuk. Until next time. <laughs>